Sloan Throne is in order. Ah, okay. Look, it's, the thing is, Fort Hare is at it again. Well, I shouldn't say that. The students, students who are questionable are they students, really students, or are they, you know, criminals? Some hoodlums. Pick, take your pick. Anyway, uh, I was just on campus. And for the last few, actually for the last few years, from 2015, that I can recall, when they first they started this whole, students started this whole thing uh, for burning burning stuff on campus, tires and front gate and all the rest of this stuff. And since then, since 2015, steady for the last four years, uh, yeah, four of them just going to fifth year now, uh, you know, what, 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 what's been happening is that that first year, I think it was the second year maybe, uh, they let police come on campus. And they were for shooting rubber bullets. I saw a little pea shot, but this is a it was just just today. <laughs> now it's over. Well, Lovedale College, which is the college that well was um, that 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 Fort Hare was b- birthed out of. You know, they have a separate you know separate. It's a college, and this is her Fort Hare University. In this case, you know, difference between a college and university is very simple. A college uh, doesn't give out um, uh, PhDs. Uh, doctorate degree. See, that's it. Uh, anyway, back to the point. And uh, so, uh, this is what it's come to. You know, the the they're shooting at the students. They're shooting at the babies. Well, why are they shooting at the babies? Because the babies ain't acting like babies. They ain't acting like you know students. They acting like hoodlums. You know, I'd say if you have a problem, you know, and you're not involved in the political system, or if you're not involved, if you're a student, you're supposed to be researching why. The situation is the situation, you see, which brings us to what I really want to talk about. I was talking to a professor on campus uh, just the other day, like last week, uh, before this stuff happened. And uh, he said, yeah, that's right, because I told him I was coming back to the, I had to go to New York for a month or whatever, and then come back. He said, you have a pretty, you probably have an interesting perspective because, you know, you have that American perspective, but then you have the South African perspective because you live, you actually live in a village, you know, you live in a location. And uh, at first I didn't think about, oh, you know, he's right. And so one of the things that upsets me a lot about what's happening in Africa, you see it, you, you know, we, it, we've experienced it in the States. And like now it's 20, 20 years after we experienced it, then, then South Africa starts going through the same thing. And nobody's talking to anybody. So this is, you, you know, I was just looking at something with H. Rap Brown talking about political situation. This is like 1969, 1970, whenever it was. And, you know, he perfectly said exactly what, what ADOS has been saying, whatever have you, is it, you know, the whole thing. Uh, anyway, so the point, the point is very simple. Uh, we're on the, we're, we're, we're the trendsetters, so it's ADOS, I'm talking about trendsetters, you know, what we do matters. Forget this, whoever matters, that matters. We actually matter because we stay on this square, we stay on this political square, this, 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 this educational square, uh, like I said, you can do anything you want. Like, I, I treat voting like a game. I mean, it's fun. I just I do it because I like to do it. But it's just one part of the thing. And I think that everyone in ADOS, they should have, you, you know, they, they should have their own. Well, maybe they do. Yeah, you should have your own. You know, you get your marching orders from, from Yvette and Antonio. That's good. That's marching orders, right? But then you should have your own thing within ADOS that doesn't, you know, go against, you know, the principles of, of, the, of the black agenda, blah, 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 blah. Like, for instance, I'm an audio dramatist. So if I do an audio drama, it has to be related. It has to have the principles of the, of ADOS in it. You see what I'm saying? And this other project I want to do that's directly related to ADOS now. Um, I'll talk about that in another thing. Anyway, I just want to say that, oh, man, I'm getting out of here. <sighs> And and plus, then the community. Oh man, there's been like, th- it's been like, th- it's been like three murders. That's not good. Anyway, uh, so so that's it. Let me let me, let me let you go because uh, uh, it just can get worse from here. Worse for uh, anybody who who thinks that they can use violence and, and and demonstration and marching and whatever have you to change stuff. Nah, you got to take over the political system. It's as simple as that. This message from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains, Pip, letting you know what I only suspect. From a location here in South Africa, in the reality of ADOS.